Recently, I found following interesting story on social media. The story is followed by posted comments. When me and my wife got married, her pastor advised her not to marry me. He didn't feel right about me. For that reason, I never trusted him, and we stayed away from him. When my marriage was at its rockiest point, and me and my wife had a short separation, he chose to privately console my wife without me there, which lead to their emotional affair. He never should have been alone with my wife, but continued to console her privately throughout our marriage, and lead her to confide in another man using his pastor title to make it more appropriate. Then, when I personally approached him asking for his help and prayers, I was told he did not want to talk about my marriage and that he did not trust me. And he prayed that I find help, but he never approached me once. Not once. He didn't trust me based on what. What people said about me. Or his interest in my wife. He didn't want to talk about my marriage, but was quick to console her privately and start buying her gifts and expensive shoes. He has gone through two marriages and two divorces himself, and he is 35 years old, and I hope he gets exposed for messing with other people's families and wives in that way. And finally, my ex-wife has the audacity to tell me that it is my fault they ended up together because I spoke it into existence by being concerned about him in the past. Comments the pastor took love thy neighbor a bit too literally. You're far better off without her. You can do better, and it's her loss. Last time this happened in my small town, the pastor got ran out of town by his flock when they found out what happened. Unfortunately, it seems too late for that to happen. So I'll just say this. That man isn't a man of God, and whether you believe it or not, they'll eventually have to answer for it. So honestly, move away from that woman and stay out of that church. He doesn't have a right to call himself a pastor. What does he preach to the people when his marriages has failed twice? No, man. I can't believe those people would even want to be under his leadership worse. He was with a married woman before she even got divorced. He must be canceled. I would publicly out him. The congregants would lose their shit if they knew. Also, every pastor I know won't counsel women alone. They either have their wife with them or a female co-worker at all times. I freaking play on the worship team and know women who sing elsewhere and the pastors aren't alone with us in their office. Ever. It's called the Billy Graham rule or something like that. Avoid appearance of infidelity and also remove any chance for anything to ever happen. So basically that pastor is a major hypocrite piece of shit. I'd expose them. Your wife is a piece of work too. Man, I hate Christian hypocrisy sometimes. Certain people ruin it for everyone. 